Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's stand to our feet and give God a hand clap of praise on this morning. Come on, can we open our mouths out of the Lord this morning? All over the room, open your mouths to glorify our King. God, you're worthy to be exalted. We uplift your name in the house on this morning, God. We present our bodies unto you as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service to you. Father, we welcome you to this sanctuary. We welcome you to our lives, oh God. We ask, Father God, that you would just move freely throughout this room even now. Even in the rooms of those who may be watching on this morning. We pray that we all have a visitation from you today, Father. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask even now, Lord, that you forgive us of all of our sins. Father God, whether it's in word, thought, or in deed, Father, we stand in need of forgiveness on today. And we ask that you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord. So that when we lift our hands, we will lift our hands up before you holy and clean, Father. To be able to receive all that you have in store for us on this day. Father, we welcome your spirit this morning. We welcome your peace this morning. We welcome your joy, unspeakable joy on this morning. And we ask you to come into the room and strengthen your people, God. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen us where we're weak, tired, and torn down. God, you build us up on every side, Father. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray for, Father God, for those who are comfortless on today. That you would comfort them, oh God. That you would wrap your arms of protection all around them, Lord. Let them know you would never leave them, nor forsake them, Father. We've been asked, Lord, that you would be God in the house on today. That you would breathe on your people, Father. Not just in the house of restoration, but in every ministry that's going forth in your name on today. Let there be a great visitation of your power today. Let there be a great visitation of your glory today. Let it manifest like never before, Father. For we come, O oh God, seeking more of you and your ways, God. More of your spirit moving and breathing through us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for being good to us, God. Thank you for being so kind to us, Father. Thank you for watching over us, O oh God, and shielding and protecting us from danger seen and unseen. We thank you for divine healings, God. We thank you for divine breakthroughs, Father. We thank you for joy being present in our lives, Lord. And we thank you for your undeniable love, Lord, that you give us each and every day, Father. We thank you for being all things unto us, Lord. We ask that you will move in this house today. Move through your preached word, God. Move through praise and worship on today. In the name of Jesus, when your people walk through the doors on today, God, let them feel your welcoming spirit, oh God. Let them feel your grace and your mercy being added the more to their lives, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And we ask, oh God, that our ears will become open on today. That we will hear your voice, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that our eyes will be open today. Scales will be removed, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that we may see your truth today throughout your word, Father. In the name of Jesus. And we pray for your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be given unto us all, Father. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you. We honor your great name. For there is truly no one greater than you who is worthy of all the praise. So we praise you on this morning. We worship you on this morning. And we uplift your great name for all men to feel and to see you and to receive you into their lives the more. For to your son Jesus' name we do pray. Come on, somebody right where you are, can you glorify the Lord? Can you give him thanksgiving? Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. We honor him and we glorify our king on today. Amen. At this time, we're just going to go forth into praise and worship and continue to create an ideal environment for our Savior that we will feel welcome in his own house. Amen. Amen. Is that all right that we worship the Lord on this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, right where you are, let's put our minds on the Lord this morning and let him know that he deserves the glory, he deserves the honor, and he deserves all the praise. Hallelujah. We glorify you, Jesus.
because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yeah. The root of David hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And it dropped down and said, in verse 9, it said, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And it says, And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand, ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. And it said at the end, it said, say it with a loud voice, worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. Thank God for somebody that was worthy. Worthy to take the book. He was worthy. We thank God for the blood of the Lamb. For by that blood we are redeemed. Every eye closed and every head bowed. Dear Heavenly Father God, in the name of Jesus, dear God, we come to you once again, oh God. We thank you for waking us up, oh God. We thank you for starting us on our way, oh God. But dear Lord, while we're here, oh God, we ask you for forgiveness, oh God, of any sin that we've done, oh God. The ones we know about and don't know about, oh God. If any word that has come out of our mouth that's been wrong, oh God, any thought that is in our mind, oh God, we ask you for forgiveness, oh God. And now, God, we ask you to come in, oh God. Saturate us with your spirit, oh God. Let the anointing fall, oh God. The anointing breaks shackles, oh God. The anointing frees depression, oh God. The anointing lifts us up, oh God. The anointing carries us, oh God. The anointing keeps us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. The blood that covers, oh God. Let your blood cover your people, oh God. Let it cover them, oh God. From the crown of their head, oh God. To the soles of their feet, oh God. We know that you're able, oh God. You don't want to work in God, Lord. You never fail, oh God. We say thank you this morning, oh God. Thank you for the sunrise, oh God. Thank you for the wind blowing on our face, oh God. We thank you for what our eyes are able to see, oh God. And what our ears will be able to hear, oh God. We say thank you, oh God. You are gracious God, oh God. New mercies every morning, oh God. You're worthy, God. You put the snow on the mountains, oh God. You made every creek, oh God. You made every rainfall, oh God. You made every valley, oh God. You made the oceans and the lakes, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. You're worthy, oh God. You're worthy to be praised, oh God. You're worthy to be magnified, oh God. You're worthy, oh God, to be lifted up, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. The God of heaven, oh God. We say thank you this morning, oh God. Our El Shaddai, our Elohim, oh God. The Lord Jehovah, oh God. The Lord Yahweh, oh God. The Lord God Almighty, oh God. You have many names, oh God. But we say thank you, oh God. Thank you today, God. For having a heartbeat, oh God. Yep. While we slept, oh God. Yep. A heart speed beat, oh God. It was beat while we were asleep, oh God. Yep. It was beat while we was rolling over, oh God. Yep. It was beat while we was getting up, oh God. Yep. You are mighty God, Lord. Thank you. We thank you today, God. We can't thank you enough, oh God. Help us to prepare, oh God. For a word, oh God, that will come from your angel, oh God. You pour into his spirit, oh God. Pour into his heart, oh God. Continue to undergird him, oh God. Continue to strengthen him, oh God. Continue to build him up, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Be up the saints, oh God. Help them, oh God, to put their trust in you like never before, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you today, God. And we know you can do anything but fail, oh God. We just say thank you, oh God. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for your wrist, our wrist of Savior. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all may be seated in the presence of our King on today. Amen. We truly honor the Lord on this morning. We're grateful, amen, for just another opportunity. Amen. To live in the land of the living. Amen. We're excited about life itself. Amen. Am I talking to anybody this morning? Hallelujah. The word of God says, let everything that has breath praise you, the Lord. Somebody just shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, let the Lord know your breath for life today. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to continue to.
to just worship the Lord. Amen. We want to welcome everybody to the house of God on today. Amen. We ask that you go and greet your sister and brother. Amen. With a hug, with a handshake, with something on this morning. And let them know you're glad to see them. Amen. Amen.
meditating on his goodness and my daughter said something that was so powerful and I don't know if you picked yes, it up. Yes, yes. Sin has no way that the glory cannot right. handle. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. That was so powerful yes, to me. Yes. Sin has no way that the glory cannot handle. Not that no matter what the enemy throws at you, no matter what you attempt to with or buy, no matter yes, what sir. you have done. That it is not powerful enough that the glory cannot handle. Yes, yes. Thank you, Father. Just think about it. Sin has no weight. And when you really understand the definition of glory, it mm. means weight. Wait. Yes. It's the yes. word kabod in the Hebrew. It means the weight of God. And that is when Eli was in, Isaiah brother was in the temple. He said, I saw the train of his glory. It filled the temple. Yes, God. It was like smoke. He bowed down because of the weight of yes, the glory. Yes. That he even became speechless. Amen, somebody. Amen. And when the weight of God is in the room, when the yes, glory of God is in the yes. room, we've got to yield yes. to the glory of God. Jesus. Because whatever is weighing you down, when the weight of God sits on you, it destroys yes, every yoke and every yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Can you clap your hands and open your mouth?
uplift the man of God on this morning. Can we be strength in the house today? Can we forget about what we're going through? Can we intercede for the man of God? Can we intercede for God's people everywhere that may be going through at this time? Oh, come on, let's begin to pray. Intercede. Intercession is when you use your words on this morning. Come on, let's open our mouths and lift up Jesus in the house today. God, we thank you for life today. We thank you for health and strength. We thank you for what you're doing right now. We thank you for encouragement, God. We thank you for being the God of all great things, God. We thank you that we're moving fast and forward into the things of you, Father. We lift up this great man of God. We encourage him now. We ask that you would cover him, Father, from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, God. In the name of Jesus, be strength right now, God. Be strength right now, Father. Be strength right now, God. In the name of the in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, encourage him right now from the crown of his head, God, to the soles of his feet, God. Let him stand strong in you. Hallelujah. Let him stand mighty in you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. And it's you that's going to 
when you've been called to whom much is given, much is yes. required, and you yes. can't just call out. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. I do want to say something before we leave here this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I was going to Jesus. talk about the cost of leadership, talk about accountability. Hmm. Definitely looking forward to talk about it. Quickly, God shifted my mind back to yesterday. Proverbs 24 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, yeah. thou hast small strength. Yeah. And my wife was praying. <laughs> and quoting both that scripture and Galatians, we're well, not weary. Six yes, chapters, Lord. well done, yes. we shall read. Yes, Lord. Yes. If you faint not, I didn't realize. Get your face straight. 
It's not like we talked about this before. If you're in this room, I don't care how old you are. If you are of age, get some life insurance. That's right. Get life insurance. Yes. Yes. Don't leave the death dead on your feet. Come family. on, sir. Yeah. Say it. Say it. Say it. It's not fair to people. Do what you need to do. Yes. Yes. If you're showing up to work just to get a paycheck, you might need to do something else in life. That's right. You got to be passionate about what you do. Yes. Just like you eat, you pay rent, you pay a car loan, you pay a premium. Yeah, that's right. Be responsible. Let them take it out of your check if you ain't going to do it. There's too much going on, y'all. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's Jesus. Bless me for real. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't, I ain't.
love you. Yes, we do. We love you. Yes. And um, we're going to serve till we die. That's right. That's right. You don't sign up for this. One of the things I was going to tell y'all, I'm going to leave. I did not want to pass. I ran from preaching my whole life. I was talking to my wife and my brother and my sister-in-law yesterday. I said, man, God did me wrong. And they just bust out laughing and said, God did you wrong. I said, God did me wrong. God took everything from me. Wouldn't let me pursue football anymore. Wouldn't let me sign contracts that I had on the table for, for singing. It was a hard beat. You know. <laughs> contracts right there on the table. Took football from me. Took everything else from me. Like, shh, trip me and say, if you're not going to say yes, this is how you're going to be for the rest of your life. Choose preaching if this is what I'm gonna get from preaching. No, I, no I've seen it. Hmm. But when God needs you, yeah. He's not gonna argue with you. Hmm. When God needs you, He's gonna appoint you and assign you. And if you refuse to do what God has called you to do, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. God told David this when David killed Uriah. God says, I'm going to cause adversity in your own house uh -huh. from among your own family. Yeah. Stuff happens. But you gotta understand when adversity is in the mix, God's trying to get your attention. Yes, yes. And when you keep doing what you wanna do, this all God does. Steps back, takes his hand off. And whatever happens to you, watch this, it's still some grace on your life. But when you continue to rebel against God, then you're no longer covered. I'm telling you what I know. I've seen it one too many times. Whatever God has called you to do, whatever he's called you to serve, do it with all your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit, your strength. Do it. Yes. That's the only thing that's going to make God happy with you, pleased with you. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. We're going to give. We're going to give to those of you who desire to give online. That should be something on the screen. I'm not making any apologies. I can't. Especially when we are truthful with what it is that God has called us to do. <laughs> I thank God for my wife. I thank God for my wife. <laughs> she has been strength to me through this whole ordeal. For real, for real. For real, for real. Just even have a come and stand with me today and pray to the leaders who came to stand. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's what that Luke 12 and 48 says. To the womb, much, much is given. Much is required. Much is required. Yes, sir. It's the truth. Sometimes we don't consider what we are carrying. We don't consider the weight of it. Yeah. Yes. We don't consider.
set up the jurisdiction in which God has given us oversight over. Whether it's our children, whether it's our businesses, whether yeah. it's music ministry, whether it's preaching, whether it's serving in a church, it doesn't matter. You got oversight. And so God has made you a steward over that. Yes. 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 And when you increase in it, it proves that you are stewarding well. Mm -hmm. When things begin to be stagnant and there's no growth there, it means that you're not stewarding over what God has given you well. Yes. Stewardship is everything. Yes. I had to learn it the hard way, but I've learned it. Thank you. If you become a good steward over what God gives you, I promise you, he will continue to pile on blessing after blessing yes. after blessing yes, that you don't even have room enough to receive it. I'm telling you what I know. And this is God's doing. Yes. And we'll continue to say it's marvelous in our eyes. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Amen. I want to celebrate all of our graduates. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. We have high school graduates, college graduates, and it's just a blessing to see yes. our young people as they have and are matriculating through school. My wife said something to me this morning as we were talking and preparing. She said, Gerald, I uh, looked at our family yesterday, families, and she said, all we have is young people left. Those of us that are in this room, we are our parents. Our children are us. But what is scary about this equation is that, listen to what I'm saying, and this is all inclusive. Not many of our children are handling life the way we handle life. Right, right. And it's scary because they're the next generation right. of leaders. Right, right. They're coming behind us. There is a spirit of rebellion. Yes. Yes. In this generation that must be broken. Yes. Yes. And because they don't understand it, that rebellion is as the spirit of witchcraft. Yes. Yeah. Literally, you infringing your will on somebody else as if. You become a puppeteer holding and directing people. That's witchcraft. God says that because you are failing to operate according to the way that he called you to live. Yes, sir. That's all an unbeliever is. An unbeliever is a person who didn't take serious the things of God. Rejected it. And as a result, dies and goes to hell. Not because God wants them to go to hell. Not because they had to go to hell. But because they rejected the only sacrifice, the only thing that was acceptable and pleasing to God. Yes. Jesus. That's his system. Amen. I'm going to ask that you will stay behind just for about five minutes as we dismiss. You just sit, sit, sit in your seats, amen. Father, we thank you, God, for this offering in which you have allowed us to receive the building of your kingdom, God. We don't take it for granted, but we say thank you, God, because we know, God, that it is for your kingdom. Yes. Bless those who have given. Bless the 160, even Bless for the God. Full, God. Bless. According to the faith and their obedience unto you. Yes, Lord. 
Open up the windows of heaven for our blessings, oh God, that we have not room to receive them. Yes, yes. Thank you, God, that there shall be meat in your storehouse, oh God. Yes. Father, we thank you, God, for your spirit this morning. Thank you for yes, worship, God, God that yes, moved our hearts, oh God. Thank you for your spirit of visitation. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Father, we just ask God that you would continue to be with us as we go down from this place, never ever from your presence. Yes. We need you. Jesus. We thank you. Thank you. And we bless you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessings to you. Just take your seats.